Hi, I'm Yash. So as you can see, I've just blocked in some colors of this painting and I'm using a canvas board of 8 by 10 inches. So now we need to get the textures and build up the detailings one by one. So for that, I'll take in some black and just a touch of sap green on my green texture brush. Let's drop on some detailings. So the reason we use a tree and texture brush is because that's going to give some detailings of foliage. Look at that. It gives all those breaks in between rather, rather than having only one single solid part. Oh, and by the way, I'm using oil paint today. So I blocked in these colors with acrylics. Of course, I added some water. And now I'm working with oils on this canvas. And I've not added linseed oil for this. Look at that, just a touch over there because that's almost in the mist and going back into the distance so very little there and almost here will have nothing like very little tapping it very lightly skips some spots and now let's come over here and this will be slightly denser and will have more contrast when compared to that so these trees will have more contrast As you run out of paint on the brush, turn the brush and just apply that. Okay, it looks something like this as of now. Here it will be clearer that how it works. You just sort of creating that texture. Now with the manipulated flat brush, let's go right over here and map out some trees, individual trees. It's not completely dry, it is still wet. Still, you know, going and mapping out some trees over here. And another one comes off right over there. In the meanwhile, let's come right over here and reflect this bush in the water that is the river skip some spots that will help the painting to look natural just get a slight blend and just a bit of that grassland over there to be reflected And let's reflect with that same color down. And don't immediately turn the brush. If you immediately turn the brush, look at that. Here, here it's very, you know, soft. It's not that soft. So just if you're doing it like that, turn the brush and give that smooth transitions. It skips some thoughts. I want it to be very dense and dark. Very contrastish. And now, whatever colors left out on my brush, let's come right over there and drop in some more of that. That's going to be very subtle, very, very minimal. Still using the manipulated flat brush. With that, I've missed. I painted there with a very light color, so that's gonna help. Fair enough. And let's begin to add in some detailings to our painting. Now, I've mixed up some lime yellow, touch of yellow ochre, sap green, and just a touch of blue to indicate distance. 
the randomness of this brush helps to get that irregularness in this scenario So now let's create some mist. I've just taken in some blue and white. And let's come right over here too. Maybe need some more white. And let's come right over here and just start doing it like that. Maybe it's gonna come all the way till there. Wap off that brush. Let's come right over there and drop in some more of that mist. Turn the canvas and let's drop in some over there at the top. Not trying to scrub but just trying to blend it very smooth. And now let's go ahead with the highlights and detailings, a bit of detailings in that region. I'm going with doing it very lightly by using a lighter color, very light color. Mix up some lime yellow and white, titanium white. But I'm not reloading my brush. That continues all the way till there. Hmm. And we still find some crisp detailing so there too which is separated from the mist and that gradually fades off into the mist now to that same pile of paint I mixed up some yellow ochre and let's come right over there and drop in some more of that for variety something comes off right over there too don't to have lot of warmth in this because that is in the background just a bit over here and there. now we'll go with another coat of mist i've taken in just white to the same brush it's sort of going very lightly in here it's sort of trying to give it a glaze not trying to push the brush into the canvas Okay, something like that. Now let's come over here to this bush and drop in some darker color, whatever color was left out on that brush, the tree and texture brush. Let's go ahead and add in some detailings. Let's start off from the bottom. Added more of lime load to the pile to that same pile of paint. We skip some spots. Look at that, the middle is left without any highlight, not much of highlight in the middle. Taken in thick paint so that it separates itself from the background elements of the painting. Now on my number two fan brush, let's take in some white lime yellow 
saprin or lighter colors let's come right over here and drop in some highlights to this grass over here and there it will be smooth not that detailed very smooth so now I'll mix up some blue black yellow ochre touch of sap green touch of lime yellow and let's come right with that and start dropping in some detailings and shadows mainly still using the number two fan brush with this i come to the end of this video i hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching